Like many countries in the world, Ecuador faces huge challenges because of climate change. Ecuador only emits one-tenth of the world's population of greenhouse gases, yet still faces some of the most severe consequences of planetary heating. If the planet's temperature continues to rise, so will the temperatures of the oceans. When the oceans heat up, they swell out and can inundate coastlines of the most vulnerable places. Because Ecuador is right on the coast of the Pacific, its coast could be swallowed by 2100 if sea levels continue to rise. Temperatures in the capital city of Quito have already risen by 1.4 degrees Celsius over the 20th century. Here in the Amazon by 2100, this entire rainforest could be unsustainable, or even without rainforest cover. Deforestation is another huge issue here, with major companies caring more about profits than the over 40,000 plant species, 2.5 million insect species, and the often forgotten 3 million indigenous people. Global warming also has health impacts. Chronic malnutrition and disease can spread far more rapidly when the tolerance limits of crops are breached. The rainforest is the number one oxygen machine, producing far more than it needs to survive. Cutting these down would not only mean destroying the forest, it would mean killing the one thing we need to survive. Much of the lush greenery in the Amazon is actually secondary forest and has been cut down within the last hundred years by major multinational corporations seeking natural resources but destroying a distinct way of life in the process. This is a country where not too long ago the hacienda system ruled and indigenous people were forced to give up a chunk of their land for nothing in return. Now that they are finally free from the system, let's not allow global warming to take away all of their land. Climate change is arguably today's most pressing issue. It makes it far less probable for future generations to be born in a place where they are lucky enough to be healthy, safe, and have access to a better life. Education on this issue is the only way that we can stop global warming and allow people to be healthy and safe today and for generations to come. Just another reason why we must make luck history.